Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk about another classic circuit you should know. The Slayer Exciter. No, this has nothing to do with heavy metal. It has everything to do with high voltage though. So, first of all, let me draw this up real quick for you. Alright, here's the basic uh, circuit for the Slayer Exciter. We've got our power source over here. Um, we'll call it 24 volts. DC. Here we have an NPN transistor. Here we have a current limiting resist resistor for the uh, transistor. We'll go like, uh, I don't know. Forty seven K. This is our primary coil right here. And this is our secondary. And you notice it's open at the top. Okay? So, what happens, and this is a really, really cool circuit. We have the power coming in from our input, whether it's a battery, power supply, it really doesn't matter. Comes in and it charges the primary coil. At the same time, it comes in here to the uh, base, opens this up, lets it flow. Now, as that happens, the coil dumps its energy, which picks it up over here, which comes over here and shuts that off, and it does the magic of this circuit, which is self-resonating. And there's my phone. Sorry about the phone call, but that's the way it goes. So anyway... That is your basic Slayer Exciter circuit. This is capable of producing very high voltage. So, I suppose you want an example of this type of circuit. We can do that. I happen to have one right here. This is a, a Tesla coil. So let me uh, shut the lights off here, and we'll fire it up. All right, lights are out, and here we go. And there is a... I apologize, I had to move the, the camera further away. This thing is kicking out so much energy that it's knocking my camera off. So I don't know how long it will last, but let's uh, we'll we'll shut it off and we'll come back here and take a look at the components. Okay, well, I think sure radiates a lot of energy, doesn't it? <laughs> so if we take a look inside here, I don't know how well you can see it, but there are. Uh, let me see better this way. Uh, let me find some light for the subject. Look down in there, you can see this one has two types of transistors in there. There's one on the left right there, and there's one on the right, and you can kind of see them if you look in there as well. The reason it does is because it has a music input. So basically what they've done with this circuit here to make it the musical Tesla coil, put a MOSFET in here. That goes up to there, and, and that one comes down kind of to here, like that one. And then the gate on our MOSFET is where our audio signal comes in. I mean, it's a little more involved in this, but this will give you a basic idea. So the audio signal comes in. And now it can modulate the amplitude and the frequency of which this circuit is switching on and off and give you some music out of your Tesla coil. Let's take a look at that. That'll be fun. All right, well, I got to have the camera pretty far away. So let's turn on the Tesla coil and then turn on the music. Huh. 
I don't hear anything at all. What's going on? Well, for some reason, the sound doesn't seem to want to work, and I don't know what's causing that. So, I'm going to have to dig into that deeper before we can get into it. And so, the final question that we have to answer is how does an open loop contribute to the circuit at all? Well, the reason is it's not really an open loop. What you're just not seeing here are the air particles and those gas particles have a certain amount of parasitic capacitance which creates a path to ground and allows our cool little circuit to work so that's the Slayer Exciter I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share. That's it. I'm out. Peace.